Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a Let's Play and early impressions for Tesseract War of Being VR, a game that was released on the Steam Store August 11th, 2023, yesterday. It released in early access. It normally retails for $5.99. I bought this game and I'm testing it out on the Meta Quest 2 using link cable. Now, I originally intended to do a video yesterday, but I ran into so many technical issues that I just couldn't do it. Mainly the game kept crashing. Uh, the good news is there was an update. The developers were very responsive and that's been fixed. So uh, yesterday there was like visual tearing when you looked around and the game would crash, but today, it runs perfectly fine on the Meta Quest. Using Link Cable, uh, there is no screen tearing. Uh, however, optimization is still an issue. So uh, I'm getting around 60 some frames per second. It, it varies, you know, it goes from 45 to 60. It varies in between. They're usually in the high 50s or, 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 or just at 60. So uh, optimization is not good. Uh, you know, and there are, there's no graphical settings at all. So pretty much, <laughs> and by the way, this is on my RTX 3080. Um, but what is War of Being? What, if, if you're not familiar, uh, Tesseract is a music band. Um, I'm not, I wasn't familiar with the band until yesterday. Uh, but it's a heavy metal band, and I had never heard of them. Uh, but after hearing some of their music, they sound uh, pretty good to me. Um, and this is like a, an introduction to to one of their songs, uh, which is pretty cool. This is like a very awesome concept. Really, the, the main issue is just... Uh, I played this in non-VR, and... Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, it, it needs some optimization there as well. So it's not just VR. Um, but this is an interesting game. You know, it's a nice introduction it, 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 to the band. Basically, with this game, you get to know, you get to find out about all five members of the band as part of the gameplay. And, and it, it's very trippy, very artistic. I like it. I like the concept, but you know, it just the implementation could be better. So maybe with a few updates, this will be a much better experience. Um, <coughs> I like the art style. I really do. And this is a very interesting game. You know, it's kind of like a, a game mixed with like a music video introduction of the band. <laughs> uh, this is how they released one of their songs, which is totally awesome that they did that. Uh, hopefully more bands in the future uh, follow in their footsteps because this is this is very awesome especially if you're a fan of the band like I said I had never heard of them before but I saw one of their music videos in fact I saw the War of Beam music video and it was pretty cool and excuse me I drank something very cold and it's bothering my voice right now but I should be fine in a few moments <laughs> That's what I get for drinking something very cold. I've always had, I've always had that issue, but it seems to have gotten worse in the past few years. And there's some like Easter eggs as well. Um, I was playing this, like I said yesterday, it just kept crashing. I only got to play it a few times, then it just crashed too many times. Usually at the startup, but today it's it's working fine other than the optimization issue. Um, but as you can tell, some of the interactions are like point and click. And there's some notes here. 
And I have no idea how you figure this out. Okay. <laughs> A lot of the interactions are, are of the point and click variety in VR. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but when I open a gate, it's just like a little cursor. So, you know, those kind of uh, interactions in VR are a little outdated now. Uh, we expect more immersive, you know, actually touching the button to interact with it. Like, we want to actually just touch it. But no, you see how there's like a little mouse cursor? So you see it's a little immersion breaking the way it's implemented here. Hopefully uh, that gets updated in the future just to make it a more... Over here. And in case you're wondering, uh, you can play seated or standing. You do, have, you do have full locomotion and smooth turning. Uh, I believe there's snap turning what available, but doing? don't quote me on that. <laughs> I changed it yesterday, so I forgot already. I knew I should have checked the, the settings before I started. Rather than relying on my foggy memory. How did you get here? Hello, little boy. Not very talkative, are you? Well, I can't talk in VR. Well, this place is dangerous. You've got to be careful. The dogs. They're out there. Trust me, they don't like anyone. You know, you're not the first to come. Can you see that crate over there? And right now I'm getting 45 frames per second. You can. Can you open it? And I'd rather just get a steady 45 frames per second than to get this, where it varies between. So, uh, <laughs> this is the puzzle, the first puzzle. Obviously, that's that's pretty easy. But before we do that, we're going to look around. So here's another note. Cast into the blue flame. I don't know if that means something substantial. I'm not, like I said, I'm not familiar with this band you know, prior to yesterday. But uh, I did watch their music video and it seemed pretty cool to me. And obviously this experience is meant for fans of the band, but I think VR enthusiasts should enjoy this as well. Or, you know, any music gamer, anyone, any music lover who's a gamer uh, should enjoy this. Just because the uh, merging of gaming and music in a novel way... I, I, is there another playable... Okay, let's just do the puzzle. <laughs> is there another experience like this? This is this sounds like something the Beatles would have done back in the day. So you can actually headbang in VR. There is a button crouch as well. And a flashlight somewhere here. No, it's not dark enough it. though for me to use a flashlight. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. You can see the flashlight there. Okay. So we're gonna investigate the interdimensional portal. Let's go. Rock and roll. Heavy metal rules. Okay. So we're not gonna go very far into this experience. Uh, Okay, we're back. Uh, I had some technical difficulties and uh, I had to restart my PC, but I'm back now. And I don't think those technical difficulties were related to the game, so I'm not going to blame the game. But we're back now. Uh, this is the second level of Tesseract War of Being VR. And 
I enjoyed the first level. It was very interesting. Holding hands as we walk through the debris. Making it our choice to sift through the destruction we wrought to get here. So we can reforge our dream from the wreckage. And escape this strange land. Uh, by the way, you also have a HUD on your hand as well. And um, like I said, these are point and click interactions. I am playing seated. Uh, I think I'm, I'm a bit too low to the ground because I'm playing seated. Uh, so you might want to play standing instead. Uh, you do have button crouch. Uh, you also have a flashlight. There we go, there's a flashlight. And as you can see, the second level has different gameplay. So now we're stealthing around these wolves. These statues that are that are guarding the area. And we unlock this by pressing trigger. And uh, unfortunately we got caught. Now, that's what happens if you get caught. You just get sent back. Uh, and... If you unlock it, you don't have to unlock it again. I should focus more on stealthing around correctly. So because we've already gotten it, we don't have to go back the same way. And we can just go through here. Straight through the middle. And then straight through there. Maybe not. <laughs> Okay, don't do that. Let's just go through the intended path. Which the way I got around this is just I went through here. And then you can go over here real quick. And then again, I'm a little too low to the ground, but that's okay. And there we go. We got, <laughs> we had a little bit of trouble, obviously, but we made it through. Um, let, I'm not sure exactly how to describe this game, but I would call it a music adventure game. So I, I think this, normally you'd call this a narrative driven game or a, an adventure game. But because this is Tesseract's release of a new music, their new song, uh, I think we can call this a music adventure game, which is a trailblazing genre for video games. And I definitely could recommend this to anyone who's a fan of Tesseract. Well done. Or just heavy metal heavy metal in general. If they see you, you're in trouble. Were you scared? I wasn't. It's beautiful here, isn't it? I like to sit here and look at the stars. I've been here a really long time. It can get boring. But it's okay, I've got lots of friends. They fly around like little green stars. Hey, maybe they can be your friends too. Listen, there's a lot more secrets around here. I'll stay here while you look around. So there's five members of the band, and we've already done one chapter, and this is the second one. So uh, I would expect uh, the gameplay is not that long, but you know, for for the budget price, you know, it's only five dollars and ninety nine cents. I think this is a good value, especially since you're getting uh, new music along with that price. So all in all, I would say it's a pretty good deal. So uh, I do recommend this, especially like I said, for fans of the band and uh yeah i think it's a pretty interesting 
concept. Very exciting. This mix of music and gaming and hopefully in the future this is just a whole lot more common where bands will release their own video game <laughs> with their with their new music. So uh, we're looking at another code 42415. Okay. Okay, so where, where do we input that? So, oh no, we got something wrong. Okay. So two, one, five. How do we, how do we, how do we, is that a seven or, oh, you know what? <laughs> I don't even know if it's a seven or a one. Oh man, this is the trickiest puzzle so far. Um, I guess I'm, I'm thinking that must be a one, right? That can't be a seven, could it? So here's the four. Four, two, one, five. Uh, 42157, okay. Where is it? 42157, oh my god, I keep running into that. 42157, no? How do we know which one's first? 42157. Seven five one two four. Yeah, I'm not sure how how do you figure out which one's first. I guess we can go with the idea that, or is it four seven two, four seven five two one? See, I don't know the order. How do you figure out the order? Four no seven five. Seven five one two four. Let's just go with that. Seven five two one four. Seven five two one. No. How do we? Is it like four seven five two one? Let's go with that. Four seven five two one. Four seven five two one. Four. God dang, this is this is more difficult than it looks like. Four seven five two one, right? Huh. How, how do we figure this out? Is this the end or the you see, I don't know the, I know the numbers. I just don't know the the order. I don't know how you're supposed to be able to tell the order. Four two. See, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> how do we? How do we tell? One, two, five, one, two, five, seven, four, two, one, Seven five one two four maybe. Four 
47521. Didn't we already do 47521? Is, is there a way to tell the order? I don't see it. Huh. Well, uh, we know what the solution is. I just don't see how we figure out the order. And it's kind of hard to tell in VR just because it's hard to see all the numbers. I don't know if it's any easier in non-VR. Um, I'm just going to end the video here because <laughs> I don't want to spend too much time on this puzzle where we just really have to figure out the, the order versus any actual problem solving. Uh, but this has been my Let's Play Early Impressions for War of Bean, Tesseract War of Bean. And if I have to rate it, I'd give it a, right now a 6 out of 10. And the reason for that, and apologies to any Tesseract fans out there, but it's just the poor optimization. The poor optimization, the outdated VR interactions, you know, the point and click with a little cursor. Uh, this definitely could be a lot better, but first it just needs um, improvement with optimization. That's the biggest thing. Uh, with that improved optimization and improved interactions, I could definitely rate this much higher. Uh, keep in mind, it is budget price, so, you know, obviously if you're a fan of, of Tesseract, I would say definitely go get it. But realize, you know, optimization is, is not the best and the interactions are a little outdated now. Um... Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play Early Impressions for War of Bean, Tesseract War of Bean. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.